This is me preparing to jump off a 100 foot crane onto a crash pad. If this is about facing fear, I'm facing mine. You might be wondering, aren't you afraid? Yes, every single time. Fear is actually the thing that keeps us safe, but sometimes limits us as well. Pushing out of your comfort zone gives you a feeling of freedom and a chance to progress, which is the goal for today. There's different methods for dealing with fear, so let's see what ChatGPT has to say. We'll follow these steps and try to tame fear best we can. Here we are on Jeriavik Clanchar uh, Grain Depot. We've already been here a couple of times before and today we're using this beautiful crane to jump onto an airbag. We'll be using a crane and a cage with which we'll progressively jump from higher and higher onto the airbag below, hopefully to get all the way to the very top of the crane. Yeah, I don't think the main goal is to jump from as high as possible, but for each member to push their limit. First off, it's important to set realistic goals. I want to go from 20. Highest point uh, of the cage. Top of the crane, very end and very top of the crane's arm. Today I'm crane operator, I'm ground support. So hopefully I will avoid altogether. I don't want to do it. Oh, stop! After making the launching platform, inflating the airbag and safety brief, it was go time. First job of the day. Super excited. Another day in the office. Now I know why Shola likes this so much. Okay, we're going up. Chola is in high. Oh! Did he say what? Go up? Pretty high already. Even though Mirji was just playing with us, this height was actually our goal for later on. Did we get down? <laughs> One of the things is to start gradually. And this is for sure not it. <laughs> so we're going down. Finally, Mirji lowered us down. 10 meters, I think, a solid height. I will just stay down. I'm not going up anymore. <laughs> I mean, Shola uh, is grabbing tightly to his chair, so I think he can do another two meters for sure. And then we're gonna leave him alone. Okay, Shola. No, no, no. One more and we leave you alone. One more and I'm done for. You're free for next stunt. Okay, but next stunt is. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you have one joker. Two more meters. <laughs> human <laughs> shark tank alligators. Two, Two more meters. meters. <laughs> the offer is shitty. Remember, it's important to stay persistent. Aren't we annoying right now? And since Shola wasn't, we were. <laughs> I'm really scared. I don't want to go out of the basket. You sure it's safe? Any thoughts? It's high! It's high! Really pushing the limits. Okay. He's alive! I really pushed my limits today. Now I'm definitely off. Have a joker now for the next stunt. Now it starts to get scary from now on. So the next height we're going is 15 meters and we're gonna do some tricks. <laughs> Good job! 15 meters, done! Now we're reaching my limit. I was hoping to go for 20 meters and now I think we're there. You know what scares me the most? Uh, if I'm the last in the cage. That's why I'm always rushing before Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, yeah. This is our buddy Melvin, who works at Big Airbag, the company that lent us this big boy. He has years of experience in gymnastics, and when we told him about our challenge, he wanted to join us, as apparently he trusts their product completely. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I know it's safe. <laughs> Let's okay, do it. Uh, we're together yeah. in it. Nice. 20.2. Two or to the back. I was planning on going 20 from the ground and now we're 20 from the airbag. <sighs> if this is about facing fear, I'm facing mine. Let's go.
Once I took off, it was clear to me that it was gonna be nice. Actually, I had so much fun for those two seconds. Nice, man. I reached the goal. After reaching the goal for the day, Gab was unsure whether he should keep going or not. I'm really scared for this one. Hmm. You should seek professional help. I need to talk to a professional. Sit, my dear. I'm about to jump from 27 meters. I'm pretty scared of heights. Wait, aren't you Max with a wig? No, no. I'm Dr. Max Widowick. Ah, who am I kidding? I ain't no professional. I am just a Max with a wig. But I know an app that's full of professionals that can actually help you. That's right. BetterHelp is an online platform that connects you to a licensed and accredited professional that suits your personal needs. The best thing about it is how convenient it is. Therapists are available to you from anywhere on the globe you are. And not only that, if you don't feel comfortable talking about your problems, you always have an option to just text instead. You want to start therapy but feel it's too expensive? Don't worry, BetterHelp is actually ranked amongst the most affordable online therapy platform. Right off the bat, they ask you a few questions trying to determine what sort of counseling you need, getting you the counselor you deserve. Therapy is often a scary thing to do and BetterHelp makes it a lot easier and more approachable for you to start. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we did 24 meters and now we're going up to 27. Red Bull height. 27 meters is an actual height from which trained professional athletes compete in Red Bull cliff jumping competitions. Needless to say, any mistakes from this height can have heavy consequences. This is yeah, the but... top level on the elevator. It's high. We only need deep breathing. Meditation, so guys. Um, um. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? Well, good. <laughs> All right. My limit was the same as Max, like 20 meters, uh, and yeah, I went over, and this is all the way to the top, and I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too, buddy. Thanks, mate. <laughs> is this what it is? A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied with my goal today. I reached the maximum cage jump. After successfully conquering highest point of the cage, there was only one challenge left. Now Yanni, Mirj and Melvin are going even higher. They are jumping off the arm of the crane. Most challenge is to get there. A sketchy uh, walk up there. You have to climb over the whole arm. During the long walk up we got plenty of time to think. Why did I sign up for this? People say it's not about the destination but about the journey. And we realized they're right. On projects we often get caught up in the planning, engineering and preparing for stunts and sometimes forget about the whole point of what we're doing. But seeing our friends today push themselves out of their comfort zone and embrace the freedom of life reminded us of just how important it is to face your fear and grow out of it. You can do this! But still, nobody said it's gonna be easy.